Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Preparation video for October 14th, 2022. Well, holy cow, did we have a reversal yesterday. Big old short squeeze fired off after an ugly CPI report. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there kind of scratching your head, kind of like I am. Okay, so the data was horrible. That turned into a buy situation. Well, you're not alone out there. Um, now, the big question is can it follow through today? So, what does that mean for um, today's price action? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Top of the morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, holy moly, what a reversal yesterday. Over 1,400 points moved from low to high on the diamonds yesterday. And we ripped ourselves right through. I mean, we just, even uh, you know, with horrible data, um, um, on the CPI number, ripped right through that resistance in the chart, and we're pushing up here toward this next resistance level in the chart. Now, the big question is can we break through? If you can see right here, we kind of sneaked right up there and try to tick right through that downtrend to see if we can make it through. So we've got a bit of a double whammy of price resistance right in there that we're going to have to watch here pretty closely. And I guess the question of the day is, can the um, data that we're going to receive today be enough to move us through some of these price levels in the chart? Clearly, uh, although we moved pretty sharply yesterday, we still have a lot of work to do. Now, let's keep in mind, if those bears were to find inspiration today, then we may have that possibility of pulling back. And that wouldn't be all that odd, thinking about going into a weekend um, with a lot of uncertainty ahead. Um, a little bit of a resting pullback would not be all that crazy. Now, unfortunately, it could be a really big point move. The other thing that we want to be watching is if we can breach this level of price resistance through here and that downtrend, well, where do we go from there? Well, if we look right up in here, there'd be another resistance area right in through there on the chart. So if those bulls can get going, push up through there, then there's that opportunity up in that region. Now let's take a look at our SPY, SPY also massive reversal big old bullish um, re, um bullish engulfing candle here uh, belt hold pattern actually but a little bit different situation here notice here in the chart we rallied up to this price resistance level but that's about as all as far as we went and we did not break the downtrend here um, yesterday we kind of held in underneath there so here again if those bulls can get going we want to see if we can breach through that area right in here and keeping in mind there is significant price resistance above here in this area we'd have to attack some areas up in here and if those bears were to find inspiration today well we've got a little support uh, right in here and there might be just a tiny little bit right through there so resting pullback into these levels might be the place we would go if those bears re-engage here in the market. Um, let's take a look at our Qs. Now, QQQ, now this has been the weakest of the indexes and quite a reversal yesterday. But unfortunately, not much changed here overall. Our downtrend remains in effect. Price resistance remains in effect. So what do we have in here? Well, if those bulls find inspiration today and can continue to push through to the upside, well, then we may test some areas right up into here, right up into that downtrend. And if those bears re-engage, well, there certainly is that possibility of pulling back into here. There's a little tiny bit of support in there. And if that doesn't hold, then um, all we've got below is the, the last low here. So um, watch that one closely. QQQ has a big question mark over it. 
Um, so although we got a nice short squeeze, we didn't fix anything here. Uh, and really, we didn't fix anything in the QQQ or the SPY. Now, IWM, having been the strongest of the indexes, um, and, and the reason I say that is we, uh, until yesterday, hadn't taken out that low. We hadn't made a new 2022 low. We did that yesterday and then completely reversed. You'll want to make note, though, that we kind of stalled right there at price resistance in the chart. And if we can get some bulls to push on through, well, we've just got some big levels of price resistance up there to deal with. If the bears are inspired, um, take a look right in here. There's a bit of price support that we could pull back into this area and still hold. So watch carefully for that. If we take a look at our VIX, my goodness, our VIX um, had um, quite a day yesterday as well, pulling back, but here again, even with that big reversal, we didn't fix anything here in this chart. Notice our trend is still in play. We still have that resistance up there, which is a good thing that we've resisted that area. Um, but we haven't changed much at all here in the VIX. We still have trend and support levels in this chart to be watching. So um, keep a close eye on that, whether or not that uh, follows through today and breaks on down that would be nice to see for a little bit more relief in the market or if it reverses off of that trend and bounces back up let's take a look at our t2122 now t2122 had a major change and like i said yesterday probably was our biggest hope of an upside move because we've been so oversold but yesterday's reversal man look how far it moved us we went from all the way down here and we're all the way past the center point of t2122 so there is um the question now of t2122 can we find enough inspiration on the bullish side today to follow that on through up here and kind of stretch this um, uh, move out to um, an overbought condition and that certainly is a possibility um, with the data we've got coming today and if the bears find inspiration well then we just know that we've opened up a very big opening for a reversal back to the downside if we find inspiration from the bears so watch that pretty closely um, remember t2122 doesn't give us direction it just tells us where those pressure points are in the market and we're kind of in that mid-range we take a look at our t2108 t2108 had a nice nice pop up yesterday um, noticing that we um, are holding a little bit of a higher low in there but we do want to recognize the fact that we have significant price resistance here in the chart yet to deal with. And the good news is, is we broke through that downtrend, that very sharp downtrend that we've been in. But unfortunately, it didn't fix this overall longer term issue here in the chart. So we've got a lot of questions here yet in T2108. 28, 29% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. You know, it's nice, but it's not. Woohoo, let's, uh, the all clear has been sounded. Let's take a look at our T2107. T2107, pretty much the same situation where we kind of snuck out from underneath that short term downtrend right there, just barely, um, running into a lot of price resistance. We haven't fixed the overall long term trend. Um, we still got some questions to be answered here. About 25% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. Not exactly a, a rip roaring bullish case here on that move. Now, if we take a look at our T2101 yesterday, T2101 made that big reversal because volume was huge yesterday with tons of selling. We stripped out lots of stop losses and then completely reversed things to the upside, squeezing out a whole bunch of short traders. But the thing that you might want to pay attention to is when we move like that, you have to question how much of this was actual buying or was this short trading being squeezed out of the market? So you'll wanna kinda of keep that in mind that we may not have really had a whole lot of aggressive buying in here, more just short traders giving up their short positions um, to protect profits um, on this reversal. So just, just watch that close. 
Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Well, today, doggone it, we've got more things here that we're really going to have to focus in on. And I've got this window spread out so wide we can't see it all. Um, as you can see right in here, we've got retail sales this morning. Retail sales, um, well, we'll have to wait and see. Um, if we get the kind of reactions that we've had with PPI and CPI, um, it's anybody's guess um, what occurs. It would be a little bit, um, uh, you know, considering the slowing of the economy, it might be a little bit difficult for this number to produce well. You can see we're looking prior over here in the consensus. Uh, we were 0.3 and the consensus is looking for a 0.2. They're looking for vehicles to go into the negative and um, gas, uh, vehicles and gas to actually increase. So watch that because uh, energy prices are increasing. So watch that closely. Then we've got import export prices. That's actually been helpful because of the strong dollar hasn't been hurting us. Business inventories is going to be important. We've been seeing those inventories continue to increase and, and creating some problems out there as the consumer has to change um, and their activities. And then we've got consumer sentiment, which is one of my favorites out there. Um, we'll all want to be watching that close. A couple Fed speakers, and then we slide into this weekend. So I think anything is still possible here on the day. Now on the earnings calendar, we have a bit more going on here. Um, as you know, uh, fourth quarter earnings are kicking up and we're going to hear from some major banks today. First off, um, um, Citibank will be reporting. Looks like we got a little bit of a pop and drop going on in Citibank here this morning. Um, still in, uh, obviously still in a downtrend, still lots of resistance in the chart. So some work needs to be done here. We'll see if that can follow through after that report today. Uh, JP Morgan um, popping up here a bit this morning, uh, but obviously this is not a bullish chart. Um, lots of resistance here lots of downtrend. We still got a lot of work here before JP Morgan would um, look to me to be a bullish chart, but quite a reversal yesterday. Um, so watch that one close. We're also going to hear from Morgan Stanley. It looks like Morgan Stanley, a little pop and drop here in the pre-market, popping up into some resistance, still in a downtrend here. It's going to be a hard case for these banks to really produce really well, I think. Um, and just simply because well, they're not loaning. Um, <laughs> they're not doing much loaning out there, um, actually restricting loaning right now as those uh, mortgage rates continue to surge higher. Uh, PNC, PNC Financial will be reporting today. It looks like we had a little pop and drop going on that here this morning. Popped into that downtrend, some price resistance in that chart. Keep an eye on that. USB, US Bancorp reporting today. Um, I don't know if that report is out in here, but let's um, just make note that obviously we're still in downtrends, resistance above, so watch that one close. We've got United Health um, reporting today. Looks like United Health is trying to push up to test this downtrend here, so keep an eye on that. Trying to push through, um, keep in mind quite a little bit of price resistance to recover from. Let's see if it can um, that report can help it push on through. And last but not least today, we've got Wells Fargo. Um, Wells reporting today, trying to pop up here, as you can see um, in the pre-market. Um, we certainly have, sorry, this thing changed tools on me and uh, changed the color on me automatically and messed up my video here. There we go. Um, uh, popping up into that downtrend, popping up into lots of resistance in the chart. So the question is on a lot of these charts, will they have enough energy to follow through and break some of those resistance levels? Or will this these areas be the next area to pick up some short positions for further downside um, on those charts? Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. 
And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful to planning your day, if you could please do me that favor, continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments. It helps the channel to continue to grow. It's that reaction to the video that does the best work in um, helping the channel to pick up new subscribers. So thank you everyone. And if you could also do me that favor, if, um, if you feel uh, the video is worthy, please share it out there on your social media feed. It helps more people find it and uh, maybe we can help a few more by uh, preparing for their day. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be well with this market and the big price moves that we're moving you're going to have to be very cautious and careful about how you trade it and just understand the risks in this market are huge. Um, when we get moves like this we could have um, a, a, a massive whipsaw is possible. A complete over, um, a, a complete reversal is possible. I mean, these are the kind of moves that can just rip a trader's face right off and just tear up their trading account. So make sure you're being very, very careful how you approach this market for today. Now, some of the stocks that I want to point out here, um, I talked about yesterday. You know, one of the things I talked about is if that US dollar starts to pull back then watch for some of those commodity type prices to surge to the upside now certainly everything surged to the upside yesterday but one of the major um, things that helped out was the dollar pulling back now this morning we have um, there's a um, special meeting that's going to be happening uh, over there in the UK maybe some policy reversals that could potentially help um, the UK guilt um, and maybe um, maybe help weaken the dollar. But as you can see in the pre-market, we've got a little bit of a pushback up here in that um, US dollar. So watch that closely. Now, what I talked about yesterday is the picking up of that position in um, XLE, and that certainly played out to be very, very profitable um, yesterday, pushing up but we don't want to get carried away here. We want to realize we've got quite a little bit of price resistance in this chart. And if that stock um, or if the dollar does strengthen today and holds up, then it wouldn't be out of the question to see this pull back or even consolidate along this area in here. But I do think it is worth keeping an eye on some of these energy stocks. If you look at quite a few of these um, energy, um, oil and energy stocks, you can see ConocoPhillips, very strong, trying to break out here. Um, APA pushing on up. Exxon Mobil showing lots of strength pushing up. Um, CVX, very, very strong, trying to break out through some resistance areas. Uh, PSX broke out, looking very, very strong here. Um, any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity. So lots of um, oil and gas um, stocks looking good. Um, so watch those closely for that next opportunity into the trade. And then also keep a close eye on some of these um, commodities. Now gold struggled yesterday. Um, it went up a bit and struggled with breaking through um, yesterday. But I think it's worth keeping an eye on and that's just simply because we have a higher low in here. And we're starting to see maybe just a little bit of shift on these um, uh, metals. So watch carefully. May not work, may not be ready for prime time yet, but I think it's worth keeping an eye on. Gold, silver, um, um, kind of the same thing. We're trying to hold in here on these little bit of a higher lows. We've got a lot of work to do though. So I wouldn't be rushing to anything there, but I do think it's worth keeping an eye on. Other places, take a look at um, copper. Copper had a pretty good day yesterday, pushing on up with the weakening of that dollar. So if we can hold in here, and as I was talking about yesterday, hold these higher lows and break on through 
this resistance and there may be some upside potential here. Also, take a look at aluminum making a pretty nice higher low in here. Nice bullish upside move in that chart. Now, let's take a look at some ideas that may actually be setting up short. If we take a look at stocks like AMD, remember we have um, some pretty rough situations for um, these semiconductors to face. And although they rallied substantially yesterday, let's keep in mind that they're rallying back into downtrends and resistance areas of the chart. So as they push up, you may want to start looking for those potential short trades to just follow this trend to the downside because it doesn't look like that situation on the chip side is going to improve anytime soon with the new U.S. regulations um, against China. So watch that carefully and if we take a look at um, others in that space Nvidia had a really nice bounce up yesterday but it really didn't fix anything so while we have this exuberance in the market of the big relief rally I think a lot of these may just set themselves up for some great short trades to the downside you may even want to take a look at some of the big names out there um, for that possibility um, well, for Pete's sake, there we go. Microsoft rallying back up, but I want you to notice all we really did is slam right into a major area of price resistance in the chart. So watch that carefully. We could rally up into these areas, find that downtrend, and just continue to sell off here. Um, a lot of these techs are running into trouble. Um, take a look at like Meta. Um, Meta big rally up yesterday but did not fix a thing here in this chart rallying into price resistance and that really could set up the next short position on those charts so look for some of the big techs to struggle here just a little bit you might look for some of the defensive sector stocks to actually um, find some buying or follow through um, because we might be focusing um, into some of these very simple defensive sector stocks um, with dividend yields um, to hold um, in times of, well, economic stress. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here today. I hope you have an awesome, awesome weekend. Be safe, be careful out there. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all of the best.